Hey, correct me if I'm wrong too, OG. Uh, Harry O, he was one of the original founders of Rap A Lot, right? Never. Never? Never. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that, that lot need to be uh, cleaned up. Harry O never had no business whatsoever where Rap A Lot was concerned. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The only thing uh, we ever done in the music industry together was he took the Ghetto Boys on tour with a couple of dates in LA and Oakland with the fat boys and with salt and pepper, you know, things like that back in the day. And then, and, and that was in 1989, 90 or whatever that was in. And then in 94, you know, I'd done a deal with Dana Dane, mm -hmm. you know, he and I done that deal and you know, that didn't go too well. That was a- Y'all signed Dana Dane, the rapper? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I never knew that. Dana, but I, you know, done that deal with him. And I think he was with Maverick at the time. And that was the end of that situation. How did y'all do a deal with Danny Dane? Danny Dane, of course, is from New York. So how, how did y'all hook up with Danny Dane back then? Well, I knew Dana, you know, I know Dana from uh, back in the day, you know, when uh, he was was with Salt and Pepper, Herbie, Herbie Lovebug and all of them. He and I just used to party and have a bunch of fun. And, you know, I eventually done a deal with him and then I let them do their thing together. You know, I got out the way. Deal with gotcha. that. Hey, 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 OG, I want you to k kill this rumor too, because you know you said it earlier that it was a bad rumor. But where did that Harry O thing come from? That he was a well, founder of Rap a Lot Records. Yeah, you know, from what I understand, it came out his mouth. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And uh, you know, I heard uh, even from the homie. You know, so we have a mutual homie. Uh, Lil D from Oakland, you know, I heard the homies say that it was said to him that he owned the Ghetto Boys back in the day mm -hmm. or whatever. And, uh, you know, that, that that caused me a lot of problems, you know, when a man, you know, make that statement a, a, a lot like that. You know, it caused me problems with the DEA, the IRS back in the day because they attacked me you know, based on statements being made that way. And of course, it was nothing there for them to find. So, you know, I like to clear that up more so than me. I hope someday he would clear it up because uh, I think, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be better for his resume. <clears throat> but, you know, I like to congratulate, you know what I mean, the homie. You know, it's like I congratulate, congratulate anybody that come out of that hall pen. Mm -hmm. Now, for I mean, people that don't know Charlamagne, so, explain who Harry O is, because somebody who's listening have no idea what you're talking about. Well, Harry O just got pardoned by Donald Trump, and, you know, they were saying that he was a founder of uh, Death Row Records, and um, I, 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 he, I guess rap a lot, you know, but clearly that's not true. Mm -hmm. But I think that's just something the, the DEA was trying to do to, to, to build a case against the brother we're talking to right now, Jay Prince, back right. in the day. That's what it seemed like to me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I... I'm the type of dude, man, I don't, you know, I've been out here in these uh, streets a long time. A lot of people from the streets, but a lot of them had to go do time. They ain't been in the streets. And one thing <clears throat> about these streets, you can't be that kind of individual where you play games with nobody money or play games, you know what I mean, with situations like that. I ain't never been that person. Mm -hmm. you know? And so for one, to try to shit on, you know, the rap a lot name, I try to take credit you know, from Southern brothers, you know, because it ain't no I and we. I didn't even do it myself, but I got a I got a team mm -hmm. that worked with me that built, you know, rap a lot way before I knew him. You know what I mean? We this movement started before I even met the brother. Right. You know, uh, I definitely learned some game from him. You know what I mean? Where streets are concerned, but uh, <laughs> you know, he have to uh, at his own lips be real about never, you know what I mean, in uh, having no ownership where rap a lot is concerned. Have you ever asked him to, to clear that up? I never, you know, it was an interesting thing. You know, I hadn't talked to this brother, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, because of these words and different things that have been said, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm the type of dude when one uh, get to saying things that, you know, is not so and then from the result of things being said that way, you know, uh, I get investigated and get attacked by all these three-letter 
where I don't have much to say to them kind of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have, you, have you spoken to Shook? Do you keep in touch with Shook? No, no, I don't. I don't. Uh, we don't have nothing to talk about either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you know, I wish him the best. And, uh, you know, he in that pig pen right now. You know, I, I hope someday he's able to spend his last days with his family.